Hey, welcome back to the latest edition of This Guy's Thoughts. Uh, tonight's episode features a brew out of uh, Deschutes Brewing Company. This here is their uh, Hop Henge Imperial IPA. This here is clocking in at 8.3% uh, alcohol and 90 IBU. Uh, this here says uh, family and employee owned since 1988. With an immense hop flavor and bitter finish, this monumental IPA is an enigma worth pondering. So, uh, definitely, um, definitely good artwork on there. I like the uh, the like Stonehenge vibe there on the uh, the bottles there. So, um, bottle art wise on the uh, chart here for artwork, uh, probably gonna give this about a. I'm gonna give it about a four and a half out of five on artwork. It's kind of kind of unique, something you don't really think about. So it goes along with the uh, name. It fits uh, fits the name. Um, anyhow, like I said, this here is uh, what I say it was 90 IBU, 8.3 alcohol or 8.3 percent alcohol by volume. Uh, we'll go ahead and crack this open and um, see what it's all about. I've never had this before. I've had a uh, Quite a few different ones from uh, Deschutes, but uh, I've never had this one before, to be honest with you. So uh, this will be something different, some I'm looking forward to. All right. See what we got going on here. Uh, nice uh, amber color. You got some floaties in there. I uh, can't really see through it. Uh, Amberish golden uh, color there. About a two finger head up on top. Off white head. Aroma. Mostly a, an orange, light orange, dank grassiness really. I'm not really picking up a lot on it. Uh, let's see, I did write down the hops. Uh, I believe American uh, Double IPA was Centennial, Chinook, Cascade, and Galaxy hops in this thing. So, an orangish, um, grassy earthiness, dank, dank grassiness to it, aroma wise. So, let's go ahead and uh, get a drink on. Cheers. Oh, it's got a nice medium body. Um, poppy mouthfeel, crisp mouthfeel at 8.3%. But at 8.3%, I only get a slight hint of that alcohol on the very end. That's all I'm picking up. It's actually very well masked. So mostly a blood orange um, type of uh, taste coming off of it. Almost maybe a pill, like an orange pill, blood orange pill type of uh, taste in here. There is a piney earthiness in the taste, uh, but subtle, no um, lingering aftertaste. Um... Yeah, it's not bad. Uh, on the chart here, uh, zero, or sorry, a one, I'll never drink this again. Uh, five, I'll go out of my way to drink this. I'm probably at a, um, I'm probably about a 3.8 out of five on this. 3.8 out of five. If you've had this before, let me know what you think. Uh, drop a comment below, hit that notification bell, like and subscribe, check me out on social media. Uh, information is in the description. That's my thoughts.